What are we going to do now? At least we should try to speak with the turtle processor to find out what we can do. This is what we used to play with. A small olive, really, and this green turtle. We were having that big ones. So one will come and sit inside this, like this. Then our other friends push out at the back, and we just go down straight to the beach. And playing with it was fun, but not knowing we were endangering that sea turtles. We need to develop our technique. Coaching has been part of my life. It has been part of my daily routine. That's good. All the players are my brothers. I want better youngsters to be among the best teams in Ghana. Stretch up. This year, I became fully part of Environmental Justice Foundation as the local project officer for the Total Conservation Project. There was the need for me to bring some people on board as a volunteer. So I just introduced a couple of guys from the team to it. Fatter Young says we have signed up to it that we are going to protect and defend turtles. The greatest blow to the species is a uh, fisheries bycatch. Fishermen go to sea and accidentally capture the species in their fishing net. Poverty is also a driver. They need to feed their family. Their fish population has declined so much that sometimes some fishermen even have zero catches. They go to sea, spend hours, and they come home with empty nets. So if they catch a sea turtle, it's very difficult for you to convince such a fisherman to release it because they see it as food. Then I'm going to say that 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 I'm if Ghana lost all of its sea turtle, it's going to be a big blow to the country in terms of the economy. Turtles is a great source of tourist attraction. We have a lot of people coming from far and near just to watch the species. If you are losing the turtles, then all these benefits are also going to go away. Research has shown that the sea turtles clean the oceans by way of feeding on seagrass and therefore keeping the seagrass in a healthy population or healthy stand. I've been told by many fishermen that wherever you find turtles, you see a lot of fish following the turtle. And that is because turtles are known to feed on jellyfish. Jellyfish also feeds on fish. So if we are taking the turtles away, 
then we are giving the jellyfish a chance to proliferate and that can cause the fish population to go down. So if we want our fish to be revived, then we should start taking care of our sea turtles. Now, they will go on patrol at night, so they will be patrolling till early morning. Timekeeping is very, very important. So, as you can see, so today Robert is going to lead the patrol. So, this place looks like a nesting area. When the turtles are about to nest, they don't want to hear any sound. So we just have to walk quietly. And when we have the opportunity to see it then, we just have to move away some meters, wait for it to nest. When it starts laying the eggs, then the team has to get in, just have to take our measurements. And when we are done with it, we just have to leave it. It will finish laying the eggs and it will move right back to the sea. Okay, what we are going to do is we try again to negotiate with the turtle processor to see if we can offer any help to this turtle. Healthy turtles, healthy oceans. The challenge is there, but we just force our way through and within the coming years, people will stop poaching and processing turtles in Gomuafate. And when that happens, it wouldn't happen at Fete alone. You just have to move to the other part of the country. If I set my eye on one thing, I give my all. I give my 100 and 200 percent. 